Hello everyone, welcome back to the Doing It Is channel. In the last lesson, we created the front end part of the ADW column. Uh, we couldn't complete the installation, didn't run when the lesson completed, but still we, uh, still we have the same code and I have completed the installation and we get this. So you will get this nice pop-up with the input field uh, which has the name of the uh, value of the branch right now. So here's where we input the value that we want to change. Uh, so in this, by hitting enter, we submit the post of whether this is a has editable input field and the key of the particular row of the grid. So uh, right now it doesn't work because we didn't write the backend code of it for it. So let's go to our controller and first check whether this has an editable editable key so e app request post we are going to check whether has editable so if it only has editable then we are going to get the branch id and get the key the key remain is the the particular row of the grid represents the particular row of the grid so e app request post editable key editable key okay we have the key now let's get the branch equals branches find one and the branch id Okay, we have the branch now now we have to um, save it obviously so to do that actually you, there is this Karthik web tips uh, article on regarding on how to do this so it is part, pretty simple to follow as well so we need an output it has to be a JSON encode value because it expects a JSON valued at the end so we are going to create that we are going to give output and leave it blank for now and a message and leave that blank as well next uh, we are going to create a post array and give it the post ted equals to current post branches we are getting the values that we submit are in going to be in an array called branches for me it's branches because these come from the branches grid so it depends we can check the values that we post to this action from the inspect element by going to the network section so we'll do that after we complete this so we are going to load the particular values that have been submitted so model not model actually branch because we get our branch object from here branch load the posted value posted okay and next we are going to save the branch and we are not going to change the output so we are just going to send uh, return the output as blank for now uh, I'll give an example on on why we would need an output uh, why we would need to change the output value to show on the grid view the output value if the output value has a value then uh, it's going to show here right now if we refresh and check okay as you can see this is the network i am in the network tab xhr so here is going to you can see the request here so i'm going to change main branch okay it gives an J error okay we haven't included json we have used json here but we have not included it. so use e helpers JSON. Okay. Now let's check again. 
and then branch okay it works so it got submitted and we got returned of two values here now if we even refresh it's saved no it hasn't saved okay let's do some debugging why it hasn't changed I'm going to say on the printer uh, mod branch get errors Okay, let's check why it didn't get saved. So main branch. Okay, let's check. Oops. Hmm. So that means it didn't go inside this. That means there's another error. Oh, I see. So the first thing we need to do, there's one more thing we need to do. That means put post branches equal to posted. And we are going to submit the post and check. Okay, main branch syntax error. Okay, we got blank. Okay, let's remove this. It properly got saved, I think. Okay, so it got saved. So why it didn't work on the first place? Now, the model load load function works only. We have to submit the array in a proper format. That's when we only submit with that format, the load function works correctly. So this is what we do here. I mean, we have, uh, as you can see, we gotten the posted post branches array and put it into posted variable and made the post variable, post variable and branches and equal to that. And then we are using this array for the load function. That's when it works. Okay, so another thing we can do is actually change the output of it. So I'm going to say, I can say, uh, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say output equals to my value. So regardless of what is the value that has been submitted from the input field, we are going to send my value as the value of the output. Uh, this is not a proper use case for this, but for example, imagine that we have a value of let's say thousand and you want to properly number format this value and put two decimal points and all that and submit. So that's where you can use this output uh, value. So I'm going to make the out equals to JSON encode output equals to the output variable and comma message is going to be blank for now okay so now that now if you check it out it says my value but if you refresh it's going to say main hello the value that we actually submitted so I'm going to uh, so that's how you can use the output value to properly format the value that you want to show to the particular use okay so I think that covers for this lesson I hope you guys enjoy this one uh, stay tuned for the next one and do subscribe have fun developing with you take care Bye.